Hey friends, I wanted to take a pause in my work break. I just kind of just needed that pause and reflecting. So I grabbed up that old handy dandy word of God and got into it for a little bit and just had some time to reflect. And one of the things that has been brought to my attention a lot of times when I'm speaking to people is they don't have anybody to believe in them right? They're like, I don't have anybody to believe in me. I don't have anybody to push me. Let me tell you about the power of believing in somebody. I have been blessed that I have friends that believe in me, that speak life into me. I just got a text message from one of my friends and was like, girl, your message, women need to hear that message. Keep pushing, keep putting that out there. And I thought, you know what? I could sit there and go back to my, um, normal day schedule or work and task, or I could stop real quick and make this quick TikTok. And if it's just one person that hears it and needs to hear it, it's worth to being it's worth being heard, right? So my message for you today, and like you said, this is prompt too because I've got the the glasses and the hair and the mess and whatever because I'm working from home today. My message for you are if you are a woman out there that feels like you are called to do something and you're scared to do it, right? This has been a message so strong in my heart today and you feel like you don't have anybody to believe in you, let this be a sign that I believe in you. Step up, walk into your calling, say yes to your yes. I say all the time, by saying yes to your yes, you could be enabling somebody to find theirs and say yes to theirs. It's a chain effect that they could find somebody else to help them say yes to their yes, right? When we step into our calling, when we have that faith to step out of the boat, step out of the nest and fly, that's when real things happen. It doesn't happen when we're complacent and we're comfortable. We have to step out to get into our calling. Life is never going to be easy sometimes. It's going to be hard and you can't quit when it's hard. You have to keep pushing. So if you got something on your heart that you know you're supposed to be doing, if you're supposed to be speaking to somebody's life, if you're supposed to be doing some other job, if you're supposed to be helping somebody out or volunteering somewhere, whatever the calling may be, what's on your heart now, if you know that and you set on that, you are holding blessings not only from yourself, your family, but other people. I encourage you to take that feeling, that gut feeling, and step into it. If you don't know where to get started, make one action step. And if it's hard at first and doesn't seem to be going quickly, keep pushing until you get there. You will get there. In closing, I promise the reward is going to be far greater than you can ever imagine. So, who are you going to help today? Start with yourself and your dreams.